A uh, very good morning to you. Thank you so much for sticking with us right here on Why in the Morning. It is a pleasure being with you on this fine uh, Wednesday morning. Uh, this is Why in the Morning. And of course, you're just in time for the next conversation of the day. This is a strength of a woman. Let's talk about what women are doing, what ladies are doing to break that glass ceiling and stand out as ladies. In this discussion today, I am with Mary Mumo. She is uh, uh, the, uh, from, from Build Her Confidence Initiative. Karibu sana, Mary. Thank you so much. How are you feeling? I'm fine, thank you. You're good? Yes. Thanks so much for, for finding time mm -hmm. to join us. First things first, what is Build Her Confidence Initiative all about? Well, uh, Build Her Confidence Initiative is an uh, NGO, or rather mm. a CBO, registered in uh, Kibra. Uh, here in Nairobi, we advocate for sexual and reproductive health and rights. And uh, our major focus is on mental health and, uh, of course, girl child with menstrual hygiene management. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, 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 so you, you, you talk about mental health and the girl child. Yes. And so far, how is your outreach? Uh, we've managed to even uh, handle cases outside Nairobi. That's mm -hmm. in uh, Machakos County, mm -hmm. uh, in Makwini County. Uh, so we've uh, managed to reach about... Um, 2,000 girls. Oh, so, yeah. so, so your focus is in Nairobi and Machakos? Our main focus actually should be in Nairobi, but we usually go where we see the need. Okay. Yeah. Okay, where you see the need. Yes. Um, and, and how do you establish that? Uh, we have uh, people on uh, the ground uh, uh, whom uh, will come up and tell us that uh, in Lake Machakos, we, we have one of our partners who is there. Yeah. Uh, she came and told us of a girl who was using cartons. Mm. Uh, for uh, for the lack of sanitary towels. So mm. that's how we established the need in Machakos. We visited them and, uh, of course, we did what we usually do. That's donating the sanitary towels to them and, of course, giving them the menstrual hygiene education. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What made you come up with uh, this, this kind of initiative? Um, wh when did it start? What is the mm -hmm. uh, uh, concept behind it? While growing up, I could see people lack sanitary towels and mm. uh, that would hit me big time. So... I think it's out of passion. Passion? Yes. Growing up, seeing a weakness in the society? Yeah, especially while I was in high school. It was quite traumatic. How bad was it? What was that, that touching moment that mm -hmm. uh, uh, made you say, you know what, mm -hmm. something needs to be done? Well, uh, going back to my personal uh, story, mm. I started menstruating while I was in Form 2. And uh, um, my parents used to get me sanitary towels since, even while I was joining Form 1. So you can imagine that I had all the sanitary towels that I was carrying from home. Mm. That's from Form 1 all the way to Form 2. Mm -hmm. So while uh, having them in my, uh, in my box, mm -hmm. I could see ladies come and ask for a piece. And so I had a conversation with some of them whereby wow. they were telling me that uh, mm. they were unable to get them. They can't afford it. Yes, they could not afford the sanitary towels. And imagine by that time it was only going for 50 bob, mm -hmm. which uh, we still have them going for that amount even as of today, but we still have people unable to get them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But of course, there is the, 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 the price uh, comes in different variations, yeah, of course, true. depending on, 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 on what you're using. Yes, yeah. but even the cheapest one is not affordable. Mm, it's not. It's and not. that's the conversation we need to change yeah, true. on the ground. Mm. Because now we are seeing Kenyans who are struggling. Right now we have high cost of living. Yeah. And, 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 and if we are complaining about high cost of living, what mm. about something that is as basic as sanitary? Now, it's good that you mentioned that it's basic. Do you know that there are people who don't know that sanitary towels are basic? Wow. Yes, we do. Okay. Actually, I think it's like, uh, it's a luxury or something. Uh, some people think that it's a luxury, but uh. it's not. Actually, sanitary towels are a basic need for every girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you think Kenyans understand that? Do you, think, do you think every parent, every Kenyan parent understands that concept? Well, a few do. A few do. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, of course, you'll even find that um, the others whom we assume that they probably don't do, they do only that they are unable to afford them or rather to access them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm looking at um, this initiative that uh, you, 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 you're doing it. Mm -hmm. um, who are those that you're working with or, or partnering with okay. that are, uh, you know, like the pillars that are holding it up? Mm. 
Mm. Well, I have a team of 10 members mm -hmm. whom uh, four of them are my, my childhood friends whom we grew together. And mm. uh, we also teamed up with the uh, other six from here in Nairobi who had the same passion as, uh, as I had. Mm. So we are of 10 members. As at now, we usually um, talk to our friends on the same, on supporting the initiative. Mm. Yeah, so that's where we circulate around. So you're saying that uh, their childhood friends, um, you shared this idea with them. Yes. They bought it. Yes, and they came in big time. Same sex, same, I mean, same, same gender? No, we have two men in the group. Okay. Yeah. So even m men are supporting it? They are. They are. I'm looking at the role of men when it comes to playing uh, a key role, mm -hmm. uh, or, 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 or pioneering a gender like this mm -hmm. and reaching out to the girl child. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think about the perception now that we, we have this Africanized man mm -hmm. <laughs> who, who believes... Yeah in certain things and not uh, 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 others. Mm. In your interaction with the, with, with, with the men, mm -hmm. uh, do you think that there are some things that are changing? Are there others that need to change? Mm -hmm. Or do we have those that just won't change at all? Well, uh, upon my interaction with them, I realized that things are changing. Mm -hmm. But uh, we still have uh, those men in our society who still believe that our menstruation is uh, uh, something which is not um, clean or rather it's uh, uh, illegal or it's a sin. Mm, mm. So on my interaction with them, I think um, things are changing. Like for the two men that we have in the group, you see, mm. at Atusisi when you grow up, I don't know if you grew up in a society whereby uh, kidogo, monamke mm. ajimes with the mm. menstruation and all that, mm -hmm. uh, men would think like, eh, where, umejikosea, yeah. menini ukonayo, you know? Mm -hmm. And there are days, especially when you're starting uh, your menstruation as a girl, mm -hmm. there are days itakuja tuna hautajua. So, uh, mm -hmm. you know, society while growing up, especially sisi ungepata monaume and kuchekelea, and I feel like, eh, you're not even worth to jikuji maintain mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now, um, with, they are bringing in that perspective of, it's in if it's normal, and uh, we should appreciate them. Yeah. Rather, yeah. we should uh, know it's um, nature and muse maga periods are beautiful. Wow. Yeah. Wow. They're beautiful. They are. <laughs> I, love, I love what you're saying. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I'm looking at, 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 at this gentleman that, that, that assumes that every lady, you know, you'll sort themselves out. You know, it doesn't even hit men that those things actually happen. Uh, that's why at some point we usually make this joke and say that ni vile tu mungu alijua men cannot uh, live with periods. Watasa how to. So God decided ah, nyinyi, nyinyi muneza kumbuka hizi vitu, watani wape tu. So, uh, wanumu watasa how to. Mutasa how. You will forget. I'm looking at the name. Mm -hmm. Build her confidence. Yeah. What a strong choice of words there. Thank you. Huh? Why, why build her confidence? I'm, I'm, I'm very um, observant in terms of the nitty gritties. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, is there something behind that? Uh, basically, Unless I'm reading too much. No, you're okay. Uh, basically what's uh, all about, uh, mm. when it comes to the menstrual hygiene management side, yeah. uh, you see monamke like the sanitary towels and all that, mm. you might find that uh, some go ahead and use clothes, use uh, cotton wools. So at the end of it all, it's either they'll suffer infections and uh, they'll uh, go ahead and lose their self-esteem. Mm -hmm. Or rather, heart attack attack interact now too. Mm -hmm. while on their menst uh, menstrual uh, period and uh, the interaction with people you'll find that they're trying to cull themselves or rather stay away from people so us coming in uh, advocating for the actually we're even advocating for tax-free sanitary towels as at now mm -hmm. so us coming in and advocating for the same means that uh, when the sanitary towels are available for the ladies Atam to akiwa on their sanitary, uh, on their, sorry, on their menstrual uh, periods, mm -hmm. wataka, like, I could be seated with you here and I'm menstruating, but you know, my confidence, but you I there. didn't say I'm menstruating, but I'm just, mm -hmm. give, I've just given yeah, an example. Yeah, here. yeah, mm -hmm. I, get, I get it. So yeah. you're building yes. a lady's confidence. True. Actually, it is, it is very interesting because if, if you don't have these materials, mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, and, and I love the fact that you're saying we uh, should have it tax-free, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you know, the way some other materials yeah. are mm -hmm. free, actually, mm -hmm. in, 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 in public toilets. Mm -hmm. um, if we are to have that, it mm -hmm. builds a woman's confidence. Yeah. So that if, if, even when, when you stand from a seat, you don't mm -hmm. have to look back exactly. to check yourself. Yeah, yeah. Mm. 
of which every every lady suffers from that aspect yeah, of building yeah, that confidence. Yeah. You know, what would be your message to that lady that is watching you today, that mm -hmm. you know is struggling with that mm -hmm. self-esteem? You know, you, you keep on checking yourself. You don't know, am I okay? Am I okay? So mm -hmm. they, they can't deliver on their job. They mm -hmm. can't be a hundred percent. I mean, me, I usually say be you, be confident enough, mm. uh, love yourself, and of course appreciate yourself. Because if you don't, then who will? Be you. Be you. What is the struggle? Self-esteem. Wake up, we are here, talk to someone. Reach us. Actually, our social media pages are out there. Mm -hmm. We have our numbers out there. You can always give us a call. We are available. Other organizations are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and if, 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 if you look at that particular aspect of, of confidence, mm -hmm. when you go to the ground and you interact with the ladies on okay. the ground, what are some of those things that you've managed to pick out uh, um, on the ground mm -hmm. that have even made you more inspired and, and motivated to keep on doing this kind of, of, of charity work, if I may call it so? Uh, one, I would say that, do you know that girls are having sex for pads? Number two, uh, I have met girls whom they are telling me openly that the parents are not even, uh, they don't even care what they use. Upon asking for the parents for sanitary towels, uh, you'll find that most of them are not their biological parents, but guardians. So upon asking them for sanitary towels and all that, they'll be like, uh, what for, you know? You're a big wow. girl, you can step mm, out. Mm. Go find sanitary towels for yourselves. That's where the teen, teen pregnancies will come in. So, yeah. yeah. And we're actually trying to control that. In as much as we, we cannot control uh, every other problem out there, but it's something we're really trying to fight and see for it uh, come to an end. Sex for parts needs to stop. It needs to. And actually that you mentioned that there are uh, some products in the public toilets which are free. I would say that uh, where those products are being used, or rather what the products are being used for, it's a matter of choice. No girl chooses to have menstrual uh, cycle. Hmm. So why don't we have them provided for free as well? Or rather for tax free. If some money has to be paid, that mm -hmm. is, then tax mm -hmm. should be um, you excluded. Know. But now, sex for parts is, 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 is also a very emotive discussion here. Mm -hmm. Because I'm looking at two individuals. Okay. One is the lady, and the other individual is okay. uh, another person or another individual yeah. who is at a better place to help this particular mm -hmm. lady. Mm -hmm. um, um, maybe your message to this lady and to this particular other interested party what would that be what would you say uh, for the interested party i would be take this little girl like your own sister or rather mm. like your own family member imagine your sister or rather your daughter being in the same case how would they feel mm -hmm. for the lady i would say that there are better people to reach out we have safe spaces out here like i just mentioned they can reach out to us and of course we'll assist where we can how can they reach out to you? Well, our social media pages across board, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, we are uh, build her confidence initiative across board. Now, with this kind of a job, like any other, mm -hmm. it doesn't come without challenges. Okay. I'm looking at, at, at you going to the ground and, 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 and doing this, this work. Mm. It, is, it is not like someone is paying you. Mm, true. Correct? Yeah. It's not like someone's paying you. Mm. But you're doing it because you love it. Mm. Because it's passion. Mm. Because it's something, it's, it's like a, I can make it like a calling. What are some of those challenges that you've faced on the ground that at some point can even make you say, you know what, I feel like giving up? Well, as at now, I'd say the biggest challenge is resources all around. Like we need mentors. Mm -hmm. uh, we need uh, finances. Or rather, we also need the sanitary towels, the products by themselves. Actually, at some point, I usually tell people not to give us finances, but the products. Okay. Yeah, okay. so if probably someone somewhere feels like I have 10 cartons to donate, 
will appreciate that. Mm. So like resources is the biggest challenge we're having is that now. But, 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 but then why are you advocating for the product it itself and mm -hmm. not um, money? Uh, people's perspective, someone would think like, uh, okay, you want us to give you money for your own use. Oh. So that's why mm. we like uh, give us the product. Mm -hmm. We'll appreciate that. But of course, if someone sends us Yes, if someone sends the money, of yeah, course, yeah. we'll get the products. And even if, if need be, we'll even share the receipt with them. Mm -hmm. Just for... Uh, accountability. Yeah, for accountability. Have you ever felt like giving up? Um, no. And I don't think if I will. You're not seeing that one coming? I'm not seeing that coming. You're strong. I have to, for them. You have to be for them. Yeah. Because they look up to you. They do. Actually, if I said, now I give you my phone, you'd see, like in the morning I was talking to three girls who were telling me that they, uh, their products have finished. Mm. Two are in Kibra and one is in Machakos. So now I have to find a way of how to reach to them and, of course, do the necessary. I'm looking, so this is more than just offering aid in terms of material things. Mm -hmm. um, you mentioned something like mentorship. Okay. How far does it go in terms of interacting and helping mm -hmm. uh, the girls who are in Nairobi and at some point in Machakos? How deep uh, do your conversations go mm -hmm. when you interact with them? Uh, I would say these girls usually open up a lot because they are talking to strangers and of course they are talking to people whom I cannot come here and tell you, Ram, like I was talking to such and such a person mm -hmm. and this is what they told me. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Being um, also in the medical field, that has taught me about confidentiality. Mm -hmm. So I would say that they usually open up and you'll find that most of mm -hmm. them are even suffering uh, mentally. So now, apart from just donating mm -hmm. and interacting in terms of the material things, you end up having discussions that are confidential. Yes. You have yes. discussions that are on mental health. Yes, uh -huh. we do. Mm -hmm. And actually at some point we usually go ahead and even talk to the parent. That's why we're saying that at some point we'll even need to have uh, professional mentors on board, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to talking to the parents or the other guardians. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like it to be, now, do you have um, also mediators who can help? Mm -hmm. Because sometimes um, the, the, to, to help the, the girls, you also mm -hmm. need to help the parents. Yes, true. Do you, do you also have such kind of... Uh, um, we, I said now we have one mm -hmm. uh, who is a spiritual, spiritual woman. Mm -hmm. uh, she's the link to the Machakos community. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, mm. wow, wow. Um, I want us to bring this discussion to a close here. Okay. But maybe your call to action mm -hmm. and uh, your, 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 your word, your final word, your parting shot, maybe you, there's something you'd, you'd like to say to pass across a message mm -hmm. to Kenyans watching you today. That's your camera there. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I would say that uh, let's all embrace uh, menstruation and appreciate uh, menstruation because as I just told you, Ram, mm. menstruation are a beautiful course. And, of course, uh, we need to come out and... Um, Probably, if you see someone struggling with this uh, lack of the products, please help them out if you're in a position too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, wow. Thank you. And, 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 and one more time, how can they uh, reach out to you? How can someone reach out to you if they want to uh, offer a helping hand? Uh, it's Build Her Confidence Initiative across board. Thank you so much. And of course, that is what brings us to the end of this particular discussion right here. Uh, thank you so much, Mary. You're doing a good job. Thank you. I appreciate. I, I, I feel inspired also. <laughs> I mean, Asante. We, we need more initiatives like this. We do. Huh? We do. Um, and I pray that you keep on doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. and, and I know that uh, at the end of the day, we are touching lives. Yeah, we are. Sindio. We and are. someone on there will say, Mary, help me. And, I'm, and they will in turn help. I'm glad to hear that. We need to hear success stories. We do. And actually, I think at some point we need to have... Probably the girls that you've touched, other girls which have been touched by even other organizations come out and share their stories. Yeah, yeah. we need to. Mm. We need to. And, uh, that brings us to the end of this discussion. That is Mary Mumo from Build Her Confidence Initiative, giving us her, uh, you know, what she's doing to uh, stand out as a lady. This is a strength of a woman. Where we, are, we just, um, you know, talk about how best you can support the girl child. And as she has said, this is something that... It's, it's a basic need. It's not a luxury. 
So if you can offer a helping hand somewhere, feel free to do so. That is all business to the end of this particular segment right here on Why in the Morning. It has been all about the strength of a woman. My name is Ram Maguko. Remember, we still have more coming up your way. Keep it Why in the Morning.